NASA's manned space missions are on hold, but the value of outer space is brought to a young audience. Organizers hope Austin Space Day gets kids excited about science. YNN's Jeff Stinslin shows us some of the engaging experiments and displays. Now we're going to make a circle. Five-year-old Orion Rhodes is learning how to make a 21st century version of the paper airplane. Two paper rings taped to a straw are all that's needed. Father Matthew Rhodes says Orion really became fascinated with stars and outer space after learning he was named after a constellation. It's really neat to be able to share that with them and to kind of instill that curiosity in them. Run! 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 Others Orion's age also run across a mixture of cornstarch and water and try to keep their feet dry. Judith Rees explains how it works. When you are gentle with it, it acts like a liquid. If you're tough, it resist you like a solid. Beyond the hands-on demonstrations and constellation cutouts, visitors had the chance to learn about space missions and hear from astronaut Rick Linehan. He made six spacewalks during his four shuttle missions. It's not over. We have American astronauts up there and we will have American astronauts up there for the duration of the space station program. Linehan says the next generation of U.S. manned spacecraft will return within the next five years, either through government or commercial backing, if not both which is why he encourages youngsters to focus on science, technology, engineering and math, or STEM. Everyone should have a general understanding about how things work in our technological society. And if you don't do that, um, you're not going to be able to compete. This is just a very inspiring time to be alive. Carter Emmert helped create the digital universe, a 3D interactive atlas. He remembers how a trip to a space exhibit when he was three launched his career. Emart hopes this space day is a launch pad for five-year-old Orion. In Central Austin, Jeff Stensland, YNN. Efforts are underway now to build a planetarium in Austin. Right now, the Austin Planetarium has a mobile exhibit which takes it to area schools.